All right, folks, it's me again for uh, Sheila E. from Tennessee. <clears throat> I'm going to show you. I don't think I got that video on there for I uh, done those glazed pecans. As you can see, I've still got my jelly out here, or my jam, my, Christ my blue Christmas jam. It's cooling now. I went, did go ahead and put that in a water bath, and I've got my skillet out here. And I just wanted to show you uh, what I'm going to do this time. <coughs> Excuse me. Is I'm going to put me a half, a half a cup of water. <coughs> I'm going to put a half a cup of water. And I don't have a whole lot of pecans left, so I'm going to use what pecans I have up. <coughs> you use what you got. I got my parchment paper out here. I got my brown sugar. You don't have to use all that egg white and bake them and all that. You don't have to do all that. <coughs> Excuse me just a minute. Let me get a sip of that coffee. All that talking makes me dry. So I'm going to cut my stove by down on the while I get my butter. I use Country Crock Light. 35 calories per tablespoon. So there's one. And that's two. We're going to say that's a half a cup right there measurement of butter. And that's the 35 calorie country crock. <coughs> Got a tickle in my throat from eating pecans, I guess. So we're going to let that melt right there. And we're going to, I've got some pecans. See how I put mine in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. I've got some cashews, cashews however you say them. Cashews, is that out? <laughs> it's going to be delicious anyway, folks. It's going to be delicious. I'm sorry that you see in my fan up there, but I still haven't got to Walmart and got me a tripod yet. So, anyway, yeah, cashews, pecans, and uh, I've had some black walnuts here somewhere. That's pecans and cashews. <coughs> This is uh, one of my friends, uh, one of my husband's friends, brought me th th some cashews and pecans and, and peanuts. And these are walnuts. These are naturally delicious. And these is, it says star snack. And it's a pound, but I'm not going to use all that. We, uh, I make this about every weekend, folks. So what I'm going to do is might go ahead and cut this off and have this ready. You can keep your nuts longer uh, in the freezer. Put them in a Ziploc bag if they've been open. And, uh, and I'm going to measure this out how many cups I'm going to put in also. And these are just going to be a glazed. <clears throat> They're not going to be a candied uh, pecan or nut. They're going to be a glazed. Set you right here. I hate that you're seeing that. If I can set you over here and you won't see it so bad. Maybe not. Let's see. We'll get you here eventually. So anyway, here's this. Um, trying to set you up here, son. Do you can see it? Let me put you right here. Just bear with me, folks. Bear with me. All right, there we go. So uh, I've got my butter and my water. Did you hear that pop? That's my jam popping. All right, we go. It's just popping. That means it's sealing, folks. So I've got my butter, <clears throat> washing my hands again. I've got a half a cup of water, a half a cup of butter, and like I said, these are not candied pecans or not candied nuts. These are um, these are glazed, so these don't have a whole lot of sugar. And when you're trying to uh, when you're trying to diet, I'm gonna turn that up now. When you're trying to diet, you have to watch uh, how much you do take in of sugar. So I think the last time we done about a whole cup, one whole cup. If you're doing candied pecans or candied nuts, you'll do probably two cups of brown sugar. The last time I done one whole cup, and uh, they were glazed. They were they were wonderful. So this time I'm going to try to do just a half a cup. 
That's a half a cup of water, a half a cup of butter, and a half a cup of uh, brown sugar. We're going to let that, I'm going to turn that up on high. We're going to let that come to a boil. And uh, then I'm going to get my one cup measurement. <clears throat> the last time I used a pound and a half of pecans. And this is just some stuff I had left over, but uh, we eat these through the week. If you get a craving for something sweet, they're good by themselves, or they're good in a yogurt. They're just they're just good. And if you don't put too much sugar, uh, four or five of these is not going to hurt. And four or five, or maybe six of these is going to they're going to uh, so they're going to cause you to that'll help your sweet tooth, and you won't have to worry about wanting something sweet. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and measure these out. And we've got this fixing to come to a boil. And I've got my brown sugar already out. Got that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up. And then I'll probably go ahead while that's fixing to start boiling. And clean up a little bit of this. But I'm going to keep that Ziploc and put my some of the nuts back in there that I don't use. So... I'm going to let that start, and we're going to let that get, let it boil, and let that butter melt, let that sugar melt, and then when that sugar melts, you see that folks, when that sugar melts, you're going to have what, is it, what will end up being your glaze, okay, so see that right there, see if we can get you right there, see that right there? Okay, so right, right now I've got <clears throat> one cup of pecans, and I'm going to go ahead, I've got some other great value pecans, I'm going to use those too, because like I said, the last time we had a pound and a half, and I'm not, I don't think, I've not got that, I've got probably, I may have uh, two and a half cups, I'm going to add some cashews, roasted and salted cashews, and these are Georgia. These are South Georgia pecan finest. South, Southland's finest pecan. I mean, excuse me, cashews. And then I think these are Georgia too. And they are walnuts. These are the English walnuts. They're not the black walnuts. So I'm going to try to use a little bit of both. And that'll give us a variety of uh, taste. And you know, walnuts are good for you. And uh, cashews are pretty good for you. And like I said, everything in moderation. That's what that's what we need to do. So this is coming to a boil. I'm going to switch spoons and I'm going to go to my uh, wooden spoon. Where I can get all this stuff around the sides. And I'm going to let this boil. So it starts to begin, <clears throat> excuse me, to look like a little syrup. And again, I hope y'all enjoy my videos. I know the last time we didn't get the pecan one, I did try to put some pictures together so you could see the process. Let me turn this fan on just a little. Hope you can still hear me, but we don't need that steam in the picture. And it's still not uh, to that consistency of a syrupy condition. It's still like a watery condition. But you know it's just been just a few minutes. It's probably been two or three minutes, maybe two minutes that it started to boil. And when you're stirring it, you stir it with a wood spoon. You can start seeing it when you uh, start stirring it. You can start seeing it get a little bit syrupy on the bottom. You can see the syrup get around the edges. It'll start bubbling. And it's almost time to uh, add our nuts in there. And these are good. These are just good through the week. And, this is part of my meal prep. I usually do egg salad and glazed pecans and put those up. And once they dry on your parchment paper, you can put them in a container with a lid. It's beginning to look like that now, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start adding some nuts to it. There's one cup of pecans. I'm going to cut my heat down. <clears throat> Two cups of pecans. I figured about two and a half. Yeah, about two and a half cups of pecans. I don't want that more crumbs in there. We're going to do about a half a cup of cashews. Let's see if we can stir it. I might be able to use a whole cup of cashews. Yeah, I think we can. We're going to use a whole cup. That was two cups of pecans, or pecans, however you say it. And I love cashews. 
So we're going to do a heaping cup of cashews. And then we're going to do a cup of walnuts. And these are English walnuts, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to taste the one. I can tell the difference in tasting of them. That's an English one, folks. I'm going to do another half of cups. So it's one and a half cups of the English walnuts, two cups of pecans, one cup of cashews. This is looking so good, folks. I'm going to turn the heat back up. We're going to let this boil. We want to get all those nuts coated. And like I said, I did use less sugar. I hope it's still just as good. As long as you get that little bit of sweet on there, then that satisfies your sweet tooth. I'm going to move these because I'm getting uh, I'm getting that syrup all over them, and I don't want that. I don't want to clean the kitchen again. So I'm going to set that right there, and I'm going to put this over here where you can see what I'm doing. Whenever I get ready to pull them in this uh, parchment paper. All right, it's boiling pretty hard, folks. Oh, let's put that right there. We'll get that on the floor. I hit that floor on one of my videos. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? Well, you never know about she Lee from Tennessee. You never know about me. So we're letting that boil. I'm going to put just a few more. I'm going to say, we put a cup and a half of pecans, so I'm going to put, uh, this is a half a cup. Put a, another half a cup of cashews. So that's going to be a cup and a half of walnuts a cup and a half of cashews and two cups of pecan because so I've still got some syrup down in there and I want but I do want to make sure that all these are coated so I've got it back up on high you don't want to let it get to a syrup before you put your nuts in there you want to right before when it starts first start making the syrup you put your nuts in there and you just keep it stirring and you after you get what you want in there I want you to see that how that's bubbling. Can you see how that's bubbling there? Heard one fell out. Let me taste that. See if it's got enough sugar. Mm mm mm. It probably does for my daughter, but you know I got a sweet tooth. I'm gonna cut that down, and then I'm gonna let it boil. It looks like I've got most of them all coated. This is just a melody of nuts, but this is a good snack when you come in from work or you come in from being outside or whatever you do or whatever you do for a living or if you're retired. You know, we like to, sometimes we like to snack on things and you want to make sure, like I said, you have plenty of stuff in your refrigerator to snack on. This is making a syrup now, people. I want to show you the difference in the consistency. See this right here? It's getting thick. We're just going to let that sit there and boil. Got it down in between a medium and a high heat. I don't want it to burn. These are so good. I've never had a... only thing I've ever made or had... Like sometimes when you go to the flea market, you can get uh, glazed pecans or candy pecans. The difference in the candy pecans is there's a lot more sugar. And there are clumps of pecans with the brown sugar uh, mixture in between them, holding them together. The glazed pecan and the glazed nuts are just very little sugar, and they're just a glaze on them. They're just enough sweetness to it to 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 satisfy your sweet tooth. I may have to put some of these in some little bags and share them with my friends that I work with and friends that. I know Miss Denise Suggs, I thank you for buying that candy uh, dish for me. That was uh, really sweet of you, and I didn't want it here because, like I said, we're on a diet, and I just can't resist it with my sweet tooth. I just can't resist it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that, and I appreciate what you did, and I really do. And I hope you like my barbecue sauce. I gave her a jar of the uh, strawberry Christmas jam. And then I told her that I was going to make the, the blue Christmas Christmas jam. 
and I might have to give her a jar of this if she likes it. If she likes the the, the uh, red one, she may like the blue one. So these are just about all the syrup is just about. You can see that it's just about dried up. So now it's time to put these. And you know what you could do if you want a little more sweetness, you can sprinkle some brown sugar over them. But I'm going to taste the one again just to make sure. I don't want them. I've got this down on low. I don't want them to where they're not. Honey, I think that's wonderful. That is delicious, you all. I'm cutting that stove off. And I'm cutting that fan off to where you can hear me. And I want you to see this. It's just a whole skillet of nuts. And that is two cups of pecans. One and a half cup of cashews. One and a half cups of English walnuts. Uh, a half a cup of water. That was a little bit more than a, a half a cup of brown sugar. It was like three-fourths cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of butter. You let your butter and your water and your brown sugar come to a boil before it makes a syrup. You start adding, cut your stove eye down to about medium or medium low. You start adding what nuts you want in there. And then once this, you get the nuts in there, you turn your heat up, let it boil. And these nuts have soaked up every bit of that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start spreading that. And I don't think I've got a big enough pan, do you all? So anyway, I'm going to spread this on a bigger pan. And I just wanted to let you see that process. And uh, I'm going to have to grab a bigger pan, folks. And let me see if I can grab one right here right quick. And some parchment paper, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put some of them on there because they'll all be put together, and then what we will we'll be in a mess, you all, won't we? So what we're going to do? I've got that stove I cut off, trying to keep some of that sugar from popping everywhere because that's a mess, honey. You let that dry? That's a doggone mess. Let me tell you. And I'm telling you right now, these right here will make your tongue crack your brains out. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And you don't feel guilty when you eat something like this either. Like you, you can, now if you eat that whole pan, yeah, I can see you feeling guilty. But, and some people can. So I'm going to put some of that on here. Because you want a, you want a thin layer. You want a thin layer where they can dry. I should have, I should have known that I should have got a bigger pan. So I'll show you here. You got a well, some places are a little bit thick, but you have a thin layer of these glazed nuts. Okay, now you see that right there? That's just a thin layer. And then we're going to spread these out. See these right here? These are a thin layer. I probably could put a few more on that one. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try to hype and hype them. But boy, these are good, man. Oh man, these are good. There's one went over. I'm gonna get that little thing right there. Huh <laughs> huh. Mm 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 mm. That is delicious, you all. Now, did you see how simple that was? Now you see what a nice treat we got. And like I said, if you want a little bit more sweetness. You can always take a little bit of brown sugar. I use the light brown sugar. Uh, I have used the dark brown sugar. The dark brown sugar has got more flavor to it. I just don't have any on hand. And uh, it has more, the reason, it's not light in calories. It's uh, brown sugar is made with molasses and white granulated sugar. So your dark brown sugar has more molasses than the light brown sugar. And I love them both. So I wanted to show you that. I hate that I didn't get it on there the last time. Uh, but now we got it. You see the finished product. Is that gorgeous? Is that gorgeous, huh? All right. So we've got two pans of what I call glazed pecans, cashews, and walnuts. And again, and I look horrid. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The Lord still loves me. <laughs> and I hope you all do. I know you ladies have all had days like, like this. But anyway, I'm going to try to clean up after a while and uh, 
uh, go somewhere nice and maybe have a salad. But anyway, remember our blue Christmas jam? We had uh, seven jars of that and that's a little bit left. And uh, if you need this recipe on these pecans or whatever, be sure to text me in the comments or in the, there's a place on there on YouTube that says, um, I want to say it says discussions and you can add a comment there. But again, that is the glazed, not the candy. The candy is a whole total difference. It's got more sugar. The glazed pecans or glazed melody, melody, uh, mel melody, well, let's just forget saying that. <laughs> it's delicious, you all. It's a combination of pecans, cashews, and walnuts. And that's an English walnut. Half a cup of water, half a cup of 35 calorie uh, country crock, and uh, three-fourths cup of brown sugar. And then we had two cups of pecans. One and a half cups of walnuts and one and a half cup of casuals. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sheila E. from Tennessee. May God bless you and may God bless your family and keep you safe. Always smile because smiles are contagious. And I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a great day.